Yeah, he's punched the air. This is a huge win for Australia and for Australian democracy. This is a huge win for free speech. This is a huge win for Australia that our Prime Minister stood up to our ally, the United States, and demanded the return of an Australian citizen. And that Julian came home today is the product of 14 long years of legal battles, political advocacy, and ongoing campaigning not just by us, but by so many people in this community. A global movement was created around Julian and the need to protect free speech, and it's that global movement that has led to his release today. I really want to thank everyone who has joined us in this fight, who have supported us along the way, because without that support and the campaigning that's been done, we just wouldn't be in this position. Julian is incredibly grateful for the support that he's had, from the Australian government and from the public here in Australia. And we're delighted that he's home. He's finally home. I thank the opposition for also supporting Julian's release. It took all, all of them. It took millions of people. It took people working behind the scenes people protesting on the streets for days and weeks and months and years. And we achieved it. I think it revealed uh, how uncomfortable uh, the, the United States government is in fact of having these arguments aired because this case, the fact is that this case is an attack on journalism, it's an attack on the public's right to know, and it should never have been brought. Julian should never have spent a single day in prison. But today we celebrate because today Julian is free. Mm -hmm.